because we're getting these, uh, you know, live images uh, uh, that are coming in, these official photographs from inside the, the G20 summit. Uh, here's a nice picture of uh, Prime Minister Modi and President Biden. Uh, this is inside the, the ante room to the conference hall where the G20 is actually taking place. Uh, in fact, a, a number of images have just come in. We'll just circle through them uh, in a moment. Uh, the Prime Minister with all of those leaders. There's that beautiful picture of the Prime Minister hugging the President of the African Union. Prime Minister with Joe Biden, uh, the President of the United States. Uh, in a short while from now, remember, there will be a break from the One Earth uh, ceremony, uh, the, 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 one, the One Earth uh, se plenary session of the G20, following which there will be a, a, a break for meetings uh, post-lunch where the big bilateral between Prime Minister Modi and uh, Rishi Sunak, the British Prime Minister, will take place. He will also be holding uh, bilaterals with the leaders of Japan and uh, Germany, Olaf Schulz and uh, Fumio Kishida. I want to go across to India today's uh, Abhishek Bhalla, National Bureau Chief, who's uh, there. Abhishek, uh, nice stream of official photographs coming in from the inside uh, the, the, at the Bharat Mandapam. The Prime Minister with the African Union President, with Joe Biden and others. The One Earth session is still on right now, Abhishek, I assume. That's right, Shiv. Uh, the One Earth session, which was the first session uh, for this morning, uh, is still on. And of course, the big takeaway uh, this morning uh, was that announcement that everybody was waiting for, uh, that uh African Union is now officially part of the G20 and uh, that's the big takeaway as uh, we speak uh, Shiv and this was expected and uh, just yesterday in fact uh, I uh, spoke uh, and exclusively interviewed uh, the president of Comoros so who happens to be the chair for AU and there was a lot of thrill and excitement in the camp and while speaking to me in fact he said that uh, uh, the entire African continent, uh, uh, and especially his nation, uh, mm. thank the kind of efforts uh, India and Prime Minister Modi have put uh, to push for uh, their uh, permanent membership. And uh, also when I asked, them, uh, I asked him about you know, the kind of role India can play, considering that China is a major player in Africa, uh, he said absolutely India has a big role to play, uh, be it investments, be it infrastructure development, and in fact they are waiting uh, for Indian investors uh, to reach uh, Africa. Uh, so so yes, uh, this morning that was uh, uh, the big uh, news break uh, from uh, the G20 summit. Uh, later, of course, uh, in the day, uh, lots of uh, uh, more uh, discussions uh, that are lined up. Uh, there is, uh, of course, uh, this uh, big gala dinner later in the evening and also the bilaterals uh, with uh, the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will have. Yeah. Okay, we're waiting for that. We're waiting for the, the, the Rishi Sunak uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi bilateral. Uh, they had a very warm handshake and hug uh, today in front of the Konarak wheel, uh, you know, when, when the Prime Minister was welcoming all of the G20 leaders. Uh, 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 Rishi Sunak, the British Prime Minister, uh, who, was, um, who arrived around uh, early in the evening yesterday, uh, has had a, quite, a, quite a hectic schedule. He visited a school. Uh, he, uh, he took Akshita Murthy, his wife, out for dinner in central Delhi as well. So uh, we're going to be looking out for that. Uh, the Prime Minister now is in the One Earth session as we speak. Uh, I think Gaurav is going to be joining us in just a moment. I think we had some problem with his audio, but we'll try and plug him back in uh, in just a moment uh, from now. If I could just pull in our guests now uh, for their, for their uh, expectations from the, uh, the bilaterals that are coming up. Ambassador Karchu, to you first. Uh, these nice images, these are the official photograph images from inside the, the, the summit of the Prime Minister with Biden and the others. Uh, the, the, the next big thing that's happening, the next big visible thing that's happening uh, at the Bharat Mandapam is going to be that big bilateral between the Indian Prime Minister and, uh, and um, uh, Prime Minister Sunak. How do you think that's going to look? The, the free trade agreement, trade, obviously the big issue on the table, sir. How are you looking at it? I think uh, the Prime Minister of the UK uh, has himself indicated uh, mm. that there are uh, some uh, issues which remain to be resolved and uh, what we can hope for is that this meeting would energize the negotiators to proceed positively forward to arrive at an engagement. Mm. I do believe that uh, the UK 
needs uh, India at this stage. They need our markets. Uh, uh, we, on the other hand, uh, still need the UK. It, is, uh, it has uh, technologies uh, that uh, are important for us, uh, though no longer is it in the same league uh, technologically as, say, the United States, but it's still very important yeah, in some yeah. areas. And lastly, uh, it, uh, the London city is, is a very important financial centre. Mm. So, all told, uh, there is a mutuality of interests uh, which can be uh, progressed. Absolutely. So, this is hugely important. There's definitely no underplaying it. Ambassador Sajjanar, would you like to add to that? We'll be going to that story in greater depth in a moment. Gaurav is also back with us. But, sir, your views on the, the, the Sunak Modi bilateral that's coming up and whether, you know, something big can actually be achieved. Yeah, I think there is great uh, symbolism also in this uh, meeting. And I think this symbolism we were able to witness when... Uh, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak came and the, you know, the warmth and the effusive uh, uh, reception that he got from Prime Minister Modi. Mm. So uh, I think there is that very strong connect. So people are really looking at uh, getting something. I agree with everything that uh, Vivek has said about, uh, you know, what we can expect. I think in addition to that, maybe I could make uh, two additional points. One is as an educational center, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the United Kingdom yes. is uh, very significant, very important, and uh, there are increasing number, and now under the, our uh, national education policy, the new education policy, we can get universities from there to come to, to India in a big way. Yes. The second is that uh, when the United Kingdom was a part of the European Union, basically it was seen as a gateway to Europe, so all our big companies had established offices in the United Kingdom, in London and other places, so that they could get access to Europe, to the European market. So we have a very significant presence uh, there already. Mm. And I think that needs to be leveraged to its uh, fullest extent, because uh, now the United Kingdom is no longer uh, a member of the European Union. But uh, still, uh, I think in terms of its... Uh, uh, relationship that continues to be uh, strong. Yes. Its economy is not doing too well. So it needs uh, uh, India in a very big way. In, in, in fact, uh, some of the Indian companies are the biggest job providers uh, in uh, the United Kingdom. It's not uh, any of the other multinationals or UK companies. Yeah. It is Indian companies. So I think there is a lot going for uh, uh, business as far as the two countries.